CBT Self-Help for Generalised Anxiety Disorder and Worry from getselfhelp.co.uk The Vicious Cycle of Gad and Worry Thoughts are about something bad is going to happen. Um, they might not just be words in our head. We might imagine the scenario happening and see real vivid pictures of it happening. It makes it seem all the more believable somehow. And it's the worst case scenario that we imagine. We might also ask ourselves lots of unanswerable questions that we are never going to find the answer to. Difficult to tolerate any sort of uncertainty about anything. You know, we want to be sure. And we might have beliefs about worrying keeps me safe because it means I can plan and prepare. Or perhaps all this worrying is going to make me really crazy. If you're thinking and believing those thoughts, you're going to feel anxious. You're going to get that adrenaline kicking in. You're going to get all those unpleasant physical sensations. If you're thinking and feeling that, then you've got to try and get rid of those feelings. Now, you might worry more about everything. You might avoid certain situations where you might start feeling anxious. Or you might really try hard avoiding having the thoughts in the first place. So you might keep busy or um, you might try and distract yourself all the time. And we tend to avoid looking at problems, facing up to them, and therefore they, they build up and they become overwhelming. So if we keep doing all those things, that's just going to keep the thoughts going. That's going to make you feel even more anxious. And we get caught up in this vicious cycle. The CBT helps us to break the cycle. And we can break the cycle by learning to think differently or do things differently. So you can learn to challenge your thoughts and beliefs. Don't believe everything you think. They are just thoughts. You can ask yourself, is this a current problem that I can do something about? Or perhaps is this a hypothetical situation that I've just got to let go for now? And we can learn to accept uncertainty. We can learn to shift our focus of attention too. And we can change our behaviours. We can learn coping skills and strategies. We can set worry times, worry zones, or set off-duty zones when we are, either we worry more or you might worry less. You might reduce the planning and checking that you often do. Learn to problem solve, prioritise and start to, to work on those problems. Learn mindfulness techniques and not avoid situations, but go into them and find out that actually we can cope and everything is OK. So if you're thinking differently and doing differently, that's going to have a big impact on your anxiety. So you're going to feel a lot less anxious and much more composed. So you can visit the webpage get.gg slash gad.htm. You'll find a self-help guide on the page. Just work your way through the steps. You can download and print the worksheets and work your way through them. And you can also download the guided self-help MP3s. www.getselfhelp.co.uk CBT self-help and therapy resources.